all upon a foggy night, an abandoned road in a twilight never No, I, I never said it like that. What I meant was that sometimes you just feel like, like, like you want to run away. But you're scared, maybe you have nowhere to run to. And if you had somewhere to run to, would you? Or would you stay and fight for something that might not be worth fighting for? I think I'll have another drink before I take you home. <laughs> I mean, before I stay and fight them off. Is it late or early? Goodbye, 
I see you in the half-light of an evening shared. You came quietly at first. Trembling flesh and small quick breath gave way to collapsing bodies tangled up beneath the cover of night. How your parting flesh feels warm in the afterglow of love settles all my restless nights. You get up to take your leave, but I pull you back and ask you just once more. You smile, half hidden in darkness, and say there will be other nights. How every thought melts away before your beauty. I want all those nights now. To begin without ending, to end without beginning. You hesitate a moment, and then just as before it begins again, you press your nakedness up against mine, giving rise to pleasures that awaken all my senses. My hands find their way around your waist and draw you closer and closer never close enough. My mouth finds your mouth and sweet taste fills me. Love has made its connection. We seem incessant in our discovery of each other. In the flush of such happiness, dare I reveal with words what is impossible when up against what I feel. Shall I tell more of what a man can want from a woman? Is it my own conspiracy that changes the fictional to the real? I am no longer aware of what is yours and what is mine. I have lost my way and found something new. Life leaps forward and leaves not tonight, but carries on in dreams of you under me and us already free. So, Charlie, say something. Go on, say anything. Look, it's, it's your letter. <laughs> found it under your bed. I, I found it under our bed. Just tell me. Peter, it's not my letter. Well, if it's not your letter, whose is it then? Let you really do to treachery things, Beaumont.